In 18th century uh, practice in sculpture, especially on any ship, I never saw a female figure naked. It's not naked. Wearing yeah, but that's in the sense that uh, for us, an 18th century guy, it's naked. Yeah. So uh, this is something which is uh, unconceivable. The, the rest with the attribute, the military attribute, that's okay, even if it's a woman, because it, it's a woman. So normally the women, uh, they are going to war, but they are not really uh, the fighter. They will get the prisoner, that kind of stuff. They will really but they are not. But from an iconographic point of view, there is no problem with work. So, uh, uh, the, the tray, the decoration in the tray, but that's okay. It's just, uh, in theory, it could be symmetric, but that's not really a big problem because I've seen a sample of a ship different from one side to the other. Uh, the second one. The second one, uh, naturally, again, uh, you have, uh, it's pretty interesting, there is some technical problem with the, the bow of the ship because uh, naturally here you have the, the cut water, it's a structural piece, so it's about that thick. in reality it's about that thick, and so it means it's overlapping a little. Technically speaking, it's not dramatic, so I've seen sample uh, where they did that. And actually, the curve is perhaps not pronounced enough because it will have difficulty to fit with the rest of the ship. But that's basically with this kind of plasticine, there's nothing to, to correct. So. And there is a lot of detail. And uh, what uh, was the concern of the first group? Uh, it's, an it's an interesting point because naturally, uh, right now we are very close, but if we are taking this thing, I'll just do an, a, a little example. Right. Putting it here. And you go at the other hand of the, the room. So uh, a lot of the detailing is disappearing. Mm -hmm. It's melting. Organized with that in mind. But it will be painted and that will Yeah, but even again painted. Help to define. Even, even painted. Because you're dealing with the sea and the mm -hmm. sea. It's a big mirror, and you will have light bouncing from below, mm -hmm. and that would be a little... I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying that, because uh, uh, we know that they did a lot. Uh, uh, in 18th century, uh, uh, they are not uh, anthropologists, they are not ethnographists, uh, they are simplified. And especially because it's designed for the people in France. So, not in France, but uh, it's designed for people European. Because naturally, the ship is designed to, to navigate all over the world. So, uh, naturally, mo most people who will see the ship don't have the slightest idea of what is a First Nation women in Quebec. And if you're talking of a specific tribe, it's more difficult to do that. So, that's something we could uh, create problem, but as yes, we have to do. This one is uh, also very interesting. This one is it's interesting because you have a research in the movement. The, this kind of movement with the, the drapery, that's typical of 18th century. They are doing that. We, you remember, we have seen the wax model. Wax model are done with that in mind. Uh, for female figure, it's very, very important to have that. Naturally, you think that with the, this kind of kit, uh, the female is losing its uh, native much because naturally it's becoming more classical mm -hmm. but you have all the, the other attributes who are there to support this image that is in fact uh, something which is native so you have in fact uh, many many uh, uh, clan symbol and the four clan symbol will in fact identify this very classic figure as a first nation figure because that's a, it's a language, and so it's not necessary to have a re-representation of an Indian or a, a First Nation and Nabinaki to convey the message. It's really the way it's presented. It wouldn't be too hard to move the turtle. I don't know. That's a, I don't see any. There is no problem with that. It's just consideration. Uh, the the the, third, the the fourth one is the, probably the most challenging one. We know that uh, the French Navy did uh, ship with uh, just 
uh, animal. But naturally, they never, I don't think uh, they use just the symbol to, because naturally, the, the problem with this one uh, has nothing to do with the interest <laughs> of the sculpture. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to uh, identify, because the clan, the bear, the thunderbird, the sturgeon, uh, the turtle, uh, the clan symbol could be applied to practically any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, nation. So the Micmac have very, very similar plans. So it's very difficult to identify this organization as with the name of the frigate. Uh, in this case, it will be just the name of the frigate plus the association of what is there. You will force the people to make the correlation. It will not be an automatic correlation, but you will have the correlation possible. So it's mean that we have four very different uh, approach. They have all their pro, all their con, and but now, what do you think? 